One day, as I walked with my love hand in hand, she said, you know, there are some things that I just don't understand. Like how high is the sky? And what makes it so blue? And tell me, dear, what does God look like to you? I said, he looks like a rainbow just after the rain. He's as golden as wheat dancing over a windy plain. He looks like the stars when the night is crystal clear. And he looks like a baby when mother is near. And his face is as the moonlight reflected on virgin snow. And his hair like a garden where all the flowers grow. His heavenly eyes, well, they're as blue as the sea. My love, that's what God looks like. January 6, 1946 in the Philippines. She was the youngest of six children and had one older brother and four older sisters. Being the youngest, my mom used to tell stories of her childhood, including the antics she and her cousins would get into throughout the town, like riding on the back of jeepneys without, without the driver noticing. For here, this is the equivalent of jumping on a train and jumping off before the conductor came around. <laughs> Virginia finished her Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering at Bakula Institute of Technology. After, finish, after finishing up her degree in the 1970s, she came to the U.S. In 1978, my mom's life changed forever. She met her future husband, Felino, <laughs> and became <laughs> friends while at a Thanksgiving party. My dad was new to the U.S. and didn't even know what Thanksgiving was because he had just recently arrived in the country. On June 30th, 1979, my parents were married. To honor their anniversary, John and I married on the same date 33 years later in 2012. My mom, my mom worked full-time within the pharmaceutical industry, mainly as a chemist, among other physicians. Regardless of how hard she worked each day, she would always be home when Michelle and I got home from school when we were younger. As we got older, she didn't have to worry as much. For those of you who have worked with her, you may remember me calling the lab daily at the same time, and you guys knew it was always me to let her know that I got home safely from school. My mom was a great cook. There would always be a home-cooked meal waiting for us at the kitchen table each day. She was also a great tutor. She always helped Michelle and I with our homework, especially math, because she's a math genius. My mom also helped us with countless school projects. One of my favorite school projects that we worked on together was the salt crystals. As I mentioned, my mom was a chemist, so science experiments, they were nothing to take. She inspired my love of science, and it was my favorite school subject. When my mom wasn't working, she enjoyed spending time with family and friends. One of her best qualities was always okay. putting others first. She was always thinking of others. If she baked some Filipino goodies, she would always make extra for the neighbors or for her coworkers. If we had dinner guests, she would ensure everyone else was served first before she even thought about the dinner. Thank you. When John and I first started dating, he was vegetarian. When he would come over for family dinners, my mom would make sure that John would have his own egg rolls, which were shrimp only, even while we'll asking him, why don't you have another one? <laughs> If we went on a family trip, she always made sure to bring back goodies or souvenirs for others. Speaking of family trips, if my mom was on that family trip, you were so lucky. She was always prepared with any kind of snack you can imagine. In general, my mom, in general, my mom was always one step ahead, always anticipating others' needs. 
My parents are both passionate about their Catholic faith. Growing up, we all attended Mass together. Every Saturday evening at St. Christopher Parish in Persephone, and eventually Resurrection Parish in Randolph. They ensured that we made all of our sacraments and they were very proud of us. In 2009, my mom retired. Shortly thereafter, in 2011, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease at the age of 65. In that same year, Michelle and Kieran were married and she was able to witness their marriage. As I previously mentioned, John and I were married on my parents' 33rd wedding anniversary in 2012. In 2015, her two grandchildren were born. KJ was born in January, two days before Lola's birthday, and James in May. Although the boys were young when she was diagnosed, she was able to meet with, meet them and watch them grow up. In April, she'll be blessed with another grandchild, baby girl McLaughlin, whom I'm sure she will watch over and protect along with KJ and James. 2015 was a busy year for us. Not only were KJ and James born, but my dad also ended up having triple bypass at that time. Triple bypass surgery. Because we needed a caregiver while my dad was recovering, we were blessed to have been connected with Joyce. We're sure don't there. Joyce spent six and a half years lovingly caring for my mom alongside my dad and my parents. I'm honored to have been Virginia's daughter. Although I look like my dad, <laughs> I have a lot of my mother's personality and traits, which I find comforting as a little piece of her still lives within me. My yes, mom taught us all what is really important in life, to love, support, and care for family and friends in our lives. We're all better off for having known her. It was a privilege to be her daughter. Thank you all again for being here to honor Virginia. We're so lucky to have you all in our lives. His heart is like a mountain, so vast and so strong. And you know that's why all his children have room to belong. And his smile is the morning that I waken to see. But you, my love, is what God really looks like.